This is ferrofluid, made from ordinary construction nails. The process begins with placing the nails into a beaker and adding hydrochloric acid. Almost instantly, bubbles rise as the reaction starts. With gentle heating, chlorine atoms bond with the iron, creating ferrous chloride. After a day of rest, the liquid shifts to a greenish tone. Earlier, it appeared darker because carbon from the steel had scattered through the solution during corrosion. Next, pure oxygen is bubbled in with light stirring and heat, slowly transforming the ferrous chloride into ferric chloride, a darker, denser form. The solution is then reduced by careful heating, kept under 150 degrees Celsius, and transferred into another container. Once cooled, part of it is stored in a small vial. The rest reacts with steel wool, returning to the green ferrous state. This second vial is left partly empty on purpose. Now, with a bench drill and a homemade resin stirrer, pure water is set in motion. The two iron solutions are added, followed by ammonium hydroxide, drop by drop, until the pH reaches 10. Both oxidation states of iron precipitate recombining into magnetite nanoparticles. To stabilize them, ammonium soap is made on a petri dish using oleic acid from olive oil and ammonium hydroxide. This soap coats the nanoparticles, completing the base for magnetic ferrofluid. Finally, he adds hydrochloric acid until the pH balances at 7, converting the soap back into oleic acid. What he has essentially created are tiny fragments of magnetite, each one coated in oil. And since oil and water never mix well, the material now settles much more easily. Next, he begins the purification step, carefully washing away as many salts as possible that were generated during the neutralization reactions. He rinses the material with water and isopropyl alcohol, all while using a magnet to instantly pull the magnetite to the bottom. Even the solution transferred to the other container is not wasted, he reclaims as much of it as possible. After the final washes with isopropyl alcohol, he leaves the material to dry inside a glass mug. Within just two days, its volume shrinks drastically. Since the particles are now coated in oil, he adds kerosene, which is a non-polar solvent. Because its structure is much more similar to oil, the interaction between them becomes stronger. The result is a dark, mysterious liquid filled with suspended magnetite nanoparticles. Particles so small that they dance within the fluid, yet powerful enough to be pulled by a magnet. At last, he has created ferrofluid.